We've just introduced the 25i series, which replaces the 25 series. The I stands for improved. Much of the technology that we've introduced has been a trickle down from the Fenestrian, our flagship model. The 25i consists of six models and they all feature an identical soft dome tweeter. The 21, which is the smallest in the range, features a five and a half inch base unit. The 22 features a six and a half inch base unit. The smallest floor stander in the range is the 23 and that features a five and a half inch base unit. Then we move on to the 24, which has a six and a half inch base unit. And then there's a flagship of the line, which is the 26, which is a three-way design with a six and a half inch base unit and a 50 millimeter soft dome. For those looking for a truly immersive system, we produced the 25i center channel, which has two five and a half inch base units and the identical soft dome high frequency unit. The tweeter that we're using across the range of the 25i series is based on the tweeter that we use on the flagship FAC Fenestria and the rest of the FAC range. It's got a very similar size and shape diaphragm and surround, which is quite abnormal for a tweeter. So most dome tweeters you see out there are 27mm dome tweeters. It's a good compromise between SPL capabilities and sensitivity and also dispersion. But we thought that we could improve on that and we've done that by having a narrower dome tweeter which has a lot wider dispersion than a 27mm dome but also giving it very high excursion for a tweeter by having a very large wide roll surround. So that gives us the best of both worlds. We've got a very high SPL and sensitivity capabilities and we've also got the wide dispersion you get from a narrow dome tweeter. In the 25-26i we use a 50mm dome mid-range. Um, it's based on the same ideas and concepts as the dome mid-range that you'll find in the flagship FAC Fenestria. Uh, it's a 50mm edge-wound dome mid-range. It provides really, really supreme wide dispersion, very, very low distortion, and a very smooth frequency response. In the 25i series, we're using two sizes of woofers split across the whole range. There's a 5.5 inch woofer and a 6.5 inch woofer. They're very similar in their design. They've got the same cone materials, they've got the same basket designs. They have the same philosophy behind their design in that they've designed to work very well with our transmission line technology, which we incorporate in all of our cabinets. Every product we make features transmission line base loading. We're one of very few companies bothering to use this because it's incredibly complex and time consuming to develop. Unlike with sealed and ported boxes where there's very rigid set equations and you can calculate how these cabinets are gonna behave. It's incredibly difficult to calculate or simulate how a transmission line will work. So we end up doing an awful lot of uh, back and forth with prototyping and almost trial and error, but in a very scientific way, I <laughs> hasten to add. The way it works is that instead of with a seal box where you're trying to just remove and isolate the drive unit from its rear radiation and a ported box where you get a very narrow window of resonance where the uh, base reflex port augments the frontal wave from the base driver. With a transmission line we send the rear wave of, from the speaker through a long tunnel uh, that's very well damped with a lot of high spec foams that we use. What that does is it absorbs all the upper frequencies and just allows the base frequencies through and they arrive out the front of the cabinet in phase with the next forwards motion of the cone. It gives the effect of a second base driver at the bottom of the cabinet. Now what happens within the line at those resonant frequencies where the transmission line is in phase with the drive unit is that the mass of air inside the line becomes very stiff and very rigid and it couples to the back of the cone and stops the driver moving. It massively reduces the displacement of the cone at those resonant frequencies. And what that does is it enormously reduces the distortion that you get at base frequencies, which is generally where you find the highest distortion on loud speak, just because the excursions get very large. Also, because it's a very well damped system, because of all the foam we use to absorb the upper frequencies that we don't want coming out of the transmission line, you find that base is very well damped, very dry, very accurate and very tight, more so than say with a vented loudspeaker, which might have little or no damping inside the cabinet. Within a transmission line, uh, what you find is you do get a very large amount of airflow in and out of the cabinet, especially at the line's resonant frequencies. Instead of the base driver producing that energy, it's coupled with the mass of air and it's forcing a huge volume of air in and out of the cabinet as the pressure rises and falls. What you find is pushing any amount of air through any size aperture, you'll find that at the edges of that opening you get a turbulent air. It, it hits a corner and it wraps around and it starts swirling. When you get that, you uh, find that high frequencies are generated and this creates unwanted noise and you can hear is chuffing on it. You, you know, it's quite a well-known phenomenon. Our head of R&D, Oliver Thomas, he used to work in Formula One. He's very, very familiar with the concepts of uh, aerodynamics and airflow, which they had to deal with with the cars they were working with. And he brought his knowledge from that into uh, our R&D. And so we developed the laminar vents, which 
are a way of smoothing the airflow at the end of the transmission line. What we do is we force the air through a series of thin strakes and channels, as it were. What that does is massively reduce the amount of turbulence that you get. It smooths the airflow out, meaning that we can play louder, cleaner bass out of the transmission line without as much turbulence. 25 series is absolutely legendary, but the improvements we've brought to the 25i series have really brought it up a level in terms of sound staging, vocal presentation, and overall enjoyment of music. The 25i is the gateway to PMC's transparent sound. I think we can be really, really proud of what we've achieved. The speakers are based on the 25 series, which are incredibly well-received products, very high performance, and we were already very, very proud of those products. And to take those and really make a noticeable and significant improvement on them is something that we're very proud of.